All right, y'all. Benton Guest House is officially available for rent on Airbnb, but we are still going through and taking a look at some of our old footage from the remodel. Today's video is all about doors and screens. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our messy, sweaty doma. This is the front room of our house, which is currently functioning as our workshop. I've brought all of the doors and screens here from throughout the house. And I did a count this morning and somehow there is 38 doors here. Uh, actually, I didn't count that one, so I guess 39. We've got a lot of doors to deal with. I don't know the proper terminology for all of the various doors and screens. I know each one has a particular word and I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to call them doors or screens. Each one of these doors are going to need different kinds of and different amounts of work to bring them back to life. This front door is wood with glass panels. We also have the solid fabric panels with the black wood painted border. And behind that we have some of the wood and washi paper shoji screens. This stack here is just 16 of the doors. These doors for the understairs closet are all wood, and in the closet we have four more doors. I would like you all to know that I put pants on just so I could make this video. It's incredibly hot as it is uh, most, most of the summer days here. I have a total of 14 shoji screens to work through today. I currently have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of the small ones done and 2 of the large ones done so we're about 3 quarters of the way there. At this point, I felt comfortable showing you the process so you can see. So we're just going to do like a little time lapse of the process. All we're going to be doing here is cleaning the glass windows, cleaning the wood with water, and the most important part is removing the paper and scraping off any 
glue residue after this, uh, not today, but um, after this the next step will be putting on new washi paper. So I've never done this before. This is my first time replacing washi paper for shoji screens. I imagine that it won't be the last time. Uh, but we have learned how to do this by picking up a little pamphlet at the Conan hardware store, a little DIY booklet of illustrations for how to go about the process, as well as uh, just watching some YouTube videos and seeing how other people do it. I'm just gonna say some doors are better than others. Uh, some doors are, I mean, are easier to get the paper off than others. And the other important thing that I've learned is that the more water, the better. I was noticing in some videos it looked like uh, some people were using almost no water and they were doing a lot of uh, scraping to get the glue off. And some people were using so much water they were using a hose to spray down the door and the paper. And maybe, maybe that's the way to go. Uh, most of the videos I saw people were using a spray bottle. I just don't have a spray bottle so I'm wetting my rag. And I started out on the first few doors being a little hesitant to put too much water on the doors. And those ones ended up being a little more difficult to scrape off. So uh, the wetter the paper and let it sit for a little bit and it loosens the glue up to let it come off fairly easily. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, pretty good. This might be the best one yet. Got lucky that I filmed this one. switch to the other side and hopefully the rest goes as smoothly. Oh yeah, this is the, the best one out of all of them so far. I'm still gonna run this over the entire surface, but um, gosh, this one came off a lot better than most of the previous ones. Again, I, uh, I, I am working with shoji screens that are potentially 70 years old. I don't know when the paper was replaced. I don't know how many times the paper has been replaced. And one of the 14 screens I, uh, I set aside because I got so frustrated trying to get the glue scraped off of it. And what I suspect happened with that door is that the paper had been replaced and the previous glue did not get scraped off very well or at all. So it seems to me like my most problematic door is one that had the paper removed without the glue removed and then new glue and new paper put on. So I've set that one aside and that's going to be the last one that I tackle. This one's great though. This one's a breeze. I don't even know if, uh, if this is teaching you anything because this one is so easy. All the glue literally lift it off with the paper. Um, one trick if there is little bits of crusty glue residue on the sides is just to continue wetting it. Um, these doors are dirty, they need cleaned, which is why I'm replacing the paper on some of them even though the paper was not ripped. 
Well, Mom is here to visit. Come on. You got lots of food in your bowl. Why are you dirty? You're covered in leaves. These are the shoji screens with the brand new washi paper. Our contractor came to visit to see what we'd been up to after he finished his work and he said that they look good. This is the back side of the shoji and you can see that uh, some of them turned out better than others. Some things to look for are uh, little wrinkles like this. There's some slight sagging where the paper didn't stretch quite right and you want to be sure that the glue came in contact with the paper the whole way down, which I did pretty good, but I did miss some spots. And you want to make sure the edges are cut nice and straight. So I think for a first time we did a pretty good job and uh, this would pass inspection. Our contractor checked these doors out too, but he said, try harder. The wood and glass screens cleaned up just like new, and even though they're the heaviest ones, they slide nice and smooth. Our neighbor is a tategu man, which means that he does doors and windows for a living. So this is an example of what the fabric screens look like when done professionally, and I just, I love them. He helped us find a fabric that was pretty similar to the vintage fabric doors that had to be replaced. He reused uh, the wood, just re-lacquered it black, and uh, gave us new hardware along with the new fabric. And the best part is, is that his fee was hardly any more than it would have cost us to buy the materials. So he saved us on all the time and effort that we would have had to do to do these ourselves. And again, I just, I love them. So he did these four up here and uh, four downstairs. You may have noticed that where the doors meet in the center, it's missing a handle, and that was a conscious decision. He came over and had a discussion with Evan because when you open this door, the stairs are right there. So uh, we wanted to make sure that nobody in the night opened this door and went straight down the stairs. So this door actually cannot push to the left, and as a visual reminder, there's no handle here, so guests will use this handle to open the door for the stairs. Thanks for coming along on this adventure with us. We've got more videos coming out soon. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers so we can work towards monetizing this channel and making these videos part of our uh, Benton Homestead income here in Japan. So please consider subscribing or sharing 
that would be really helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.